Millions in Syria and Iraq are facing water shortages as the region's longest river, the Euphrates, dries up. Flowing through the heart of the Middle East is a life-giving artery that has nurtured civilizations for millennia, the Euphrates River. The cradle of civilization itself was rocked in the fertile bosom of this river. Ancient texts have imbued it with a sacred aura, hinting at prophecies and spiritual significance. Today, however, this once mighty river whispers a different tale. The generous ebb of the Euphrates has been waning, revealing parched riverbeds and alarming questions. What could be causing this river, which has prevailed through the epochs, to retreat so dramatically? Are we on the cusp of fulfilling ancient prophecies, or is it a grim commentary on our global climate crisis? As we delve into the mysteries unfolding on the banks of the Euphrates, prepare for a journey through time and revelation. In an unexpected twist in this story of an ancient, revered river, something incredible was recently discovered. As the waters of the Euphrates River receded, the entrance to a hidden cave was unveiled, which had long been buried under the river's muddy depths. The opening of the cave, barely noticeable to the untrained eye, held a promise of secrets that were about to be revealed. The discovery set the archaeological world abuzz. Scholars and explorers, armed with cutting-edge tools and burning curiosity, ventured into the depths of this concealed cave. The initial exploration was filled with uncertainty and anticipation. Could this cave provide vital insights into the civilizations that once thrived along the riverbanks of the Euphrates? Their first findings within the cave were enlightening. Age-old stalactites and stalagmites, the slow drip of water resonating throughout the cave's chambers, all indicated its antiquity. Moreover, the presence of primitive artifacts and pottery shards suggested human activity. Advanced dating techniques, such as radiocarbon dating and thermoluminescence, hinted that these remnants might date back to the times of the ancient city of Zakiku. Every tool and technique utilized, from geophysical surveys to detailed mapping, was vital to understanding the structure of the cave and its contents. The dedicated work of these archaeologists brought to light the relics of a past civilization, while each discovery led to more questions than answers. As we journey deeper into the concealed cave under the Euphrates River, the fascinating evidence of an ancient society becomes increasingly clear. Various artifacts have been discovered, each speaking volumes about the inhabitants of Zakiku and their everyday life. Pottery shards, tool fragments, and delicate jewelry hint at a rich domestic culture, where skilled artisans crafted beautiful objects for everyday use. Could this be the evidence of a prosperous civilization, once thriving on the banks of the sacred river? Interpreting these artifacts opens up a world of understanding about the domestic life of these ancient people. These findings suggest the existence of an organized society that had a firm grasp of various skills, from pottery making and metalworking to weaving. From the remains of their craft, we can hypothesize that they possessed advanced technological knowledge for their time. Who were these people, and how did they develop such sophisticated craftsmanship? The location of the cave has piqued interest as well, with its close proximity to the ancient city of Zakiku. Given Zakiku's strategic location near the Euphrates River, this opens up a wealth of possibilities about the interaction between the cave and the city. Is it possible that the cave was a hideaway, a religious retreat, or even a storage space for this ancient society? Or perhaps it served a purpose beyond our current understanding? These questions only make the exploration more thrilling, enticing us to delve further into the mystery of this hidden wonder beneath the Euphrates. Delving into the symbolic connotations of the Euphrates River, one cannot overlook the rich tapestry of spiritual significance this watercourse holds. This majestic river, which meandered through the heartlands of ancient Mesopotamia, was not just a provider of sustenance, it was an entity reverberating with deep spiritual energy, perceived as a divine gift to humanity. The river's nurturing attributes were personified in ancient deities, such as Enki, the Sumerian god of water, whose mythological narratives centered around the Euphrates. Let's connect this with our sealed cave. Located tantalizingly close to the river's edge, 
Its position hints at possible religious ceremonies. Was the cave an ancient shrine or a secluded space for spiritual communion with the river's divine energy? While concrete evidence is yet to surface, the possibility cannot be dismissed. A deeper layer of this spiritual tapestry is the Euphrates River's ubiquitous presence in various religious texts. Christianity, Judaism, and Islam have all referenced the river, often associating it with key prophetic events. Could these ancient texts provide more insights into the spiritual significance of our newly found cave? These potential connections spark intriguing questions about the river's spiritual symbolism and its intersection with the ancient world's everyday life. With the cave under the Euphrates River unveiled, the scientific community has become ever more fascinated. The positioning of the cave so near the sacred waters hints at a relationship between this concealed sanctuary and the profound religious significance of the Euphrates. Intriguing, isn't it? The preliminary exploration reveals an array of artifacts and markings that suggest an arena of religious rituals and ceremonies. The more the researchers delve into the intricate depths of the cave, the more they encounter objects that echo of ancient ceremonies. From finely crafted statuettes that might represent deities to ritualistic pottery showing signs of burnt offerings, every finding paints a vibrant picture of a civilization that revolved around faith and spiritual practices. Now think about this for a moment. How do these discoveries reshape our understanding of the religious practices of the era? Archaeologists are studying these artifacts to decipher their purpose, their symbolism, and the rituals they may have been a part of. Some of the objects resemble those found in nearby archaeological sites dated back to the same era, suggesting the shared religious practices among the civilizations that thrived along the Euphrates. The religious texts inscribed on the cave's walls add another layer of intrigue. These inscriptions, still undeciphered, promise insights into ancient spiritual beliefs. The parallels drawn between these markings and the religious symbols associated with the Euphrates lend weight to the theory that this cave was indeed a sacred site. In the grand scheme of things, what does this mean? By unearthing the spiritual practices of civilizations past, we can build a broader and deeper understanding of human spirituality and its evolution over the centuries. As we navigate further into the labyrinth of the recently discovered cave under the Euphrates River, it seems every twist and turn greets us with yet another astonishing revelation. One of the most compelling finds so far has been the collection of inscriptions and writings etched onto the walls and on the fragments of clay tablets found within the cave. The process of deciphering these inscriptions is like unlocking an ancient cryptogram one that requires knowledge of historical languages, cultural context, and an understanding of the rituals and mythology of the civilization that once thrived here. Linguists, historians, and archaeologists are tirelessly working together, translating and interpreting these scripts, utilizing cutting-edge technologies and methodologies to illuminate the darkness of history. As every character and every word is slowly pieced together, a new aspect of the society that once inhabited the region surrounding the Euphrates River emerges. From these translations, we begin to grasp the depth of their belief systems, their daily lives, their shared societal norms, and perhaps even their fears and aspirations. It's as if we are peeling back the layers of time, offering us a glimpse into the collective consciousness of a civilization long gone. However, it's essential to remember that translating ancient inscriptions is not just about knowing the language or the script. It's about understanding the people who wrote it. Different cultures may use the same words to mean different things. They may have unique metaphors, cultural references, and spiritual beliefs, all subtly encoded within their written language. The progress so far has been promising. Preliminary interpretations suggest that the inhabitants of Zakiku held the Euphrates River in high esteem, seeing it as a divine entity that nourished their lands and blessed their lives. The inscriptions speak of elaborate rituals and ceremonies held on the banks of the river, possibly in this very cave. The art found in the cave beneath the Euphrates River is not just beautiful and mysterious, it also tells a fascinating story of an ancient civilization. The walls of the cave, bathed in millennia of darkness, have been brought to light to display a unique canvas of prehistoric artistry. 
The scenes etched onto the rock surfaces, the delicate carvings and intricate sculptures provide a captivating view into the lives of those who lived and worshipped here long ago. The study of these artistic representations has been meticulous and thorough. Archaeologists and historians are peeling back layers of time, using cutting-edge technology to examine and interpret the art's minute details. They take into account not only the images themselves, but also their placement within the cave and the materials used in their creation. Such study seeks to understand the context of these artworks and what they might have meant to their creators. The interplay of light and shadow, the selection of themes and the recurring symbols are all pieces of a complex puzzle waiting to be solved. From the very first glimpses, it is clear that these artworks hold enormous potential to enhance our understanding of ancient cultures. The prevalent symbols, the themes that pervade the cave's art, all are windows into the spiritual world of the ancient inhabitants of Zakiku. They demonstrate a people deeply connected to their surroundings, to the mighty Euphrates that flowed outside their cave. Figures of animals, seemingly in motion across the cave walls, suggest a society intertwined with nature. Scenes of apparent ritualistic ceremonies hint at complex religious beliefs, possibly even with the Euphrates River playing a significant role. The Euphrates River, one of the longest and historically most significant rivers in Western Asia, is today in a state of peril. These life-giving waters that once flowed freely from the Turkish highlands to the marshes of Iraq, nourishing civilizations along its course, is now gasping. Factors ranging from climate change to burgeoning water demands and consequential water management challenges have placed the river in its current precarious state. A significant issue is the construction of large dams across the river's flow, particularly in Turkey and Syria. The Southeastern Anatolia Project in Turkey is one such instance. This ambitious development program, which includes the construction of 22 dams and 19 hydroelectric power plants, is aimed at improving the region's economic prospects. However, it has dramatically altered the river's flow downstream. These alterations have had profound implications, creating a host of environmental and geopolitical issues. Reduced water levels downstream, primarily in Iraq, have not only threatened agriculture and local economies, but also intensified tensions among these transboundary nations. Furthermore, the river is being relentlessly squeezed to meet increasing water demands. With growing populations and urbanization, the water withdrawal has significantly outpaced the river's natural replenishing ability. Climate change has further aggravated the situation, intensifying periods of drought and leading to decreased precipitation in the river's catchment area. What we are witnessing today is the severe strain on a once abundant natural resource. The Euphrates River's struggle under the weight of these anthropogenic impacts underscores the urgent need for collaborative and sustainable water management strategies. With multiple nations relying on this crucial waterway, the stakes are high. The question that arises is, can we mitigate these challenges and restore the glory of the Euphrates? Not only this, but what is even more fascinating is the ancient prophecies linked with this historical waterway. Texts of antiquity, like the Bible and Islamic scriptures, have often referred to the Euphrates in their narratives, some even predicting its drying up during pivotal events. For instance, the Islamic tradition narrates a prophecy of the river uncovering a mountain of gold as it dries up. This drying up, as observed today, piques interest in the likelihood of such an event and what it might symbolize. Is it purely metaphorical, or could it indicate something more concrete? In an astonishing turn of events, the discovery of vast gold reserves under the now parched Euphrates bed seems to bring this ancient prophecy to life. The very thought of a mountain of gold stirs up the imagination, but also raises numerous concerns. While the prospect of gold could bring potential prosperity, its exploitation could exacerbate the already strained water and environmental conditions, thereby increasing the complexity of managing the Euphrates. Moreover, gold often tends to breed conflict and competition, making it a potential geopolitical flashpoint. Intriguingly, the potential implications of such a discovery extend beyond local boundaries. Access to these resources could destabilize regional and international dynamics, further complicating matters. Each country within the Euphrates Basin may stake a claim, 
potentially igniting tensions and disputes. The geopolitical consequences could indeed be far-reaching, altering the balance of power and resource management in the Middle East. Moving beyond the mystical and historical significance of the Euphrates, we must consider the potential geopolitical implications and potential consequences that arise from these new developments. The control of water resources has long been a source of conflict. The Euphrates River, which sustains multiple nations, is no exception. The discovery of a vast gold reserve beneath the dried-up riverbed could exacerbate existing tensions, possibly leading to territorial disputes and power struggles. The balance of power in the region could drastically shift, creating ripples that reach far beyond the immediate area. However, it is within such challenges that the opportunity for international mediation and cooperation can arise. The resolution of water management issues and potential conflicts over newfound resources could be a catalyst for unprecedented collaboration. The world watches in anticipation, as it's these events that will shape the region's future, impacting not just the nations involved, but global politics as a whole. As the mighty Euphrates retreats, a city frozen in time emerges from the depths. Zakiku, an ancient city thought lost to history, lay hidden beneath the waters of the Euphrates. The city's exposure doesn't merely offer a glance into the past, it unearths a treasure trove of knowledge, providing new insights into civilizations that thrived millennia ago. Archaeologists uncover architectural feats and priceless artifacts, each piece revealing a chapter of Zakiku's story. A careful analysis of these relics offers a glimpse into the city's socio-economic structure, its people, and its way of life. For instance, the discovery of farming tools and pottery suggests the city's inhabitants led an agrarian lifestyle. The revelations unveiled from beneath the Euphrates River and within the cave have given us precious glimpses into the lives of ancient civilizations. These discoveries, artifacts, inscriptions, and the submerged city of Zakiku unfold layers of our history, showing us the intricate connection between the people and the sacred river. It is from these insights that we may grasp the urgency of the situation facing us today. The vanishing river warns us about the perils of climate change and the unsustainable use of our water resources. More than ever, the struggle of the communities that depended on the Euphrates remind us of our responsibility to implement effective water management strategies, not just for the preservation of our civilization, but of our planet as well. These archaeological sites are a testament to the past, but also a beacon for the future. To lose them would be to lose an integral part of human history. Therefore, protecting these sites is paramount. The Euphrates, once a symbol of life and prosperity, now challenges us to learn from our past, to navigate the future. So let us ask ourselves, will we rise to the occasion 